Hello, this is Warlord. Today we're going to take a look at retargeting Reillusion's extra core motions in Blender. So, let's get started. Okay, let's go to File, Import, and FBX, and let's load in our extra core motion, which in this case will just be a, a corridor idle motion out of the new shopping pack. And there's what it looks like. Just kind of stand around and look. Now, in order to do this, what we need to do is use Auto Rig Pro. And this is an Auto Rig Pro rigged character here. So, I'm going to press N on the keyboard. Go to ARP for Auto Rig Pro. From there, we're going to go to Remap. And with our motion we just loaded selected, we're going to select Source Armature. Then we're going to select our character and select target armature. From there, we're going to go into the build bones list so we can get down here to the mapping presets and this is where you're going to import the file, the preset file that you download from the Actor Core website, free file. Now from here we need to redefine the rest pose. And then we're going to need to make sure the bones are aligned properly. Now I am not an everyday user of Blender. So we'll see how all this goes. Copy selected bones rotation. Apply. Now I'm ready to go up here and retarget. Hit OK. And there we are. That is very simple. Especially when you consider this is the first time I've ever really retargeted anything. And I just downloaded uh, Auto Rig Pro maybe about an hour ago or two. So this is all very extremely easy to use. At least up to this point. Now I want to emphasize that when I rigged this mesh earlier with Auto Rig Pro, I did not rig the facial features or the hands, so don't hold that against the act core motion. All I did was just rig the main part of the body, because this is one of the first, first actually is the first time I've been into Blender to do this type of work. Now I'm going to import a second FBX motion, and it will be the second part of that corridor idle. There it is. And there we have both motions. Okay, select our character, come down here and go to nonlinear animation. Okay, we'll find this rig in here, right there. Do the push down action and there is our first motion now we'll select that second motion and select it as the source and auto scale now we want to redefine the rest pose again And I'll go over here and select proper bones. Okay, copy selected bone rotation and apply. All right, now we're ready. I believe we are at least. Yes, we're ready now to retarget. Hit OK. OK. 
Okay. That's the second retargeting now. Okay, now with that motion selected, we're going to go under here and do the push down action to create the second clip. And now you can put them on the same track. And we have both motions together. So we should be able to delete these now. And still have our animation, yes, we do. This is pretty much just a rehash of what you learn over on the Real Illusion website. Uh, it is incredibly easy to retarget, just like it was in 3DS Max and Maya. So anyway, I hope this helps.